this here is a horse chestnut tree and I'm going to show you how to make a natural soap using the leaves. To first be able to identify horse chestnut, you can see that at the end of each stem are about five or six leaves. And if the leaves are this shaped, then you know you have horse chestnut. For this project, we're going to need about three or four collections of these leaves here. Just a side note, I've come across all of this litter here and it's absolutely disgusting that people do this. I would take some home with me but I don't have any bin bags so I might come back here later and uh, collect up some of this. So I'm going to put an ingredients list on the screen right now. So that is everything you'll need for this project. Here I have a bottle which I'm going to be used to containing the natural soap that we create. Here are all the leaves and the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take out a measuring jug and we're going to fill it with a little bit of water. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to put the leaves in the water and we're going to crush them up. As you can see, as I'm stirring it more and more, the water's starting to get really bubbly. And that's because the natural saponins in the horse chestnut leaves are being brought out into the water, which is going to create our soap for us. Once you've finished with your mixture, you can see it's got a lot of bubbles forming on the surface. You're going to want to pour it into a bottle of some sort. You can strain it out at this step if you don't like bits in it, but I don't mind the bits because it's just going on your hands anyway. Now here we have our natural soap and if you ever need to wash your hands in the wild, you can make this. And the natural saponins are a natural soap mixture. And it smells pretty earthy as well, which is a bonus. So there we have it everybody. Thank you very much for watching this video on making natural soap. I hope you can hear me above the rain because the microphone is getting absolutely soaked in this rain but that's alright. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also make a laundry detergent out of the conkers of the horse chestnut tree which is also very useful. But if you want more survival videos let me know down in the comments and if you really like this video please feel free to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.